Hey y'all, I'm gonna show you how to throw together our really simple peach salsa. I've got my peach here, my avocado, I've got some red onion, the other things I need. So I'm just gonna walk you through this really quick and you'll see that it's a great little condiment to have in your fridge for any old time. One peach is what I'm using. You can use more if you really like it super peachy, but you only, only need one. So let's do the middle, take it apart. Now I want to cut this into pretty nice bite-sized pieces. So it's gonna be a little smaller than I might do for other things. Because I don't wanna have to really use a knife on it when I'm eating. Pull that off, oh, nice and green. That means this is a good avocado. I could do all of this holding it in my hand, but I wanna be safe, so I'm actually putting it down on the cutting board. Cut. I'm gonna take this pit out. See, I'll use the back end of the knife, just gives me a little more control. Got a trash can over here, don't worry. I'll do the same thing on this side. Now, if you don't like a whole lot of avocado, you, you know, you could only use a half slice of avocado. I like to use a lot of avocado. I'm a fan of the avocado. Take a spoon. Scoop that yummy goodness out. And yes, because I'm doing this more than likely on a day before I'm gonna actually use it or eat it, it might get a little bit brown. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. It still tastes good. So that's that there. Now, I have to work on my jalapenos. We want it a little spicy, right? It is a salsa. Handy dandy gloves, as always, with my jalapenos. You noticed, you may have noticed, I'm doing the jalapenos last. There's a reason for that. That's because I don't want to make anything else taste like jalapeno. Now, in this case, everything gets mixed up in there, so it'll all taste like jalapeno anyway. But in other situations, like if I was doing normal prep, I would, if I had a jalapeno to prep, and with everything else, I'd wait to the end because I might not want spicy fruit or spicy uh, broccoli. And jalapeno has oil in it that has a tendency to stick around on things, which is also why I'm wearing these gloves. Because personally, I don't want to reach up and touch my eye and have it burn for five days. <laughs> Just cleaning out the inside of that jalapeno. Just using my fingers. All right, I'm gonna dice this pretty small. I'm gonna cut these in strips. Take my gloves off. I wanna add some red onion. I'm using Cheater Red Onion today. I bought this pre-cut up at the store. I highly recommend doing that if you know that you're gonna be using diced onions. You know, if you can afford it, it costs a little bit more, sure, but for me, the time saving is really awesome and then I get to have just diced onion in my fridge and I didn't have to do it. Onion is truthfully one of my least favorite things to ever cut up. So when I can, I go ahead and buy it pre-diced. So, this recipe calls for a half a red onion dice. Well, how much of that is this? A couple of spoonfuls, kind of how you like it, right? You can do a little more, a little less. That's probably about what I would get from a small red onion, maybe a little more. That's what I'm doing. You can still, of course, cut a red onion if you have it, and if you don't hate red, cutting onions as much as I do. Okay, we're getting pretty full in here. Got two more things left to add. White wine vinegar. And then, of course, a little salt. I'm gonna carefully mix this all up because this is very full in here. You could mix this in a bowl beforehand before you put it in the container. I'm not doing that because I don't want to have yet another thing to clean. <laughs> but it does mean I have to be kind of careful when I'm mixing it in here. All right, now all that's left is to put it in the fridge. Save it for when I need it. That's it for today.